Yeah, I think tea is becoming an endangered species, certainly in London. And oh. everybody, everybody's talking about coffee and the coffee, and we've grown it here, and we've shade grown it there, and we've sourced it ethically from there, and we've got this type of coffee and that, and a double mocha chocolate on top of the top. Yeah, so last time, James and I had a heated, gigantic row about the fact that he doesn't think that ketchup belongs on a roast dinner, when it definitely does. Um, if you want to see the outcome of that video, have a look here. Today, my unpopular opinion is that normal tea, breakfast tea, builder's tea, bog standard tea, whatever you want to call it, is the worst drink in the world. Oh, don't all talk balls, woman. <laughs> all of the teas are excellent and the best way to start the day is an iced coffee with some oat milk. Absolute drivel. What do you mean by all other teas? So green tea... Well, that's not tea. tea. Fruit tea. Fruit tea, tea isn't tea. Fruit tea is fruit. <laughs> That's an infusion, it's not tea. Do you call peppermint tea tea? Yeah. But it's not tea, it's peppermint. No, but it's delicious and unlike other normal tea, which is horrible. I don't understand no, how anyone can sorry. like it. I, I do have a strong view on this one. You can't, in my opinion, which is right, obviously, start the day with coffee. Coffee Why? is, and I'm saying this as someone who will happily start the day with curry, but not coffee because it doesn't, it's not refreshing, It's it's, it's cloying. It's like a food. I, I will have a small violent coffee at the end of a late supper, maybe. But I couldn't countenance drinking it first thing. That would be like that would be like waking up and smoking my pipe. It would be that ridiculous. It's not something you do first thing in the morning. You need tea to because tea is it's refreshing and it's quite light and it sort of lubricates you. But coffee doesn't. Coffee just makes you go for a dump, frankly. That's what coffee's for. The Italians know that. Wow. I just, I don't understand why people are so obsessed with tea. I mean, it's such a pain. Like every time you go anywhere in life, you always get offered a cup of tea no, and then no, you have no. to politely decline it. No, I'm going to have to stop you. No? The only place you get offered cups of tea is workshops like factory workshops and the army if you do anything with the army every time you move you get a cup of tea so you turn up and they say oh hello uh, do you want a brew and you say oh yes please i'll have a cup of tea that'd be lovely and they give you a cup of tea and they say why don't you come and meet our commanding officer and you walk five paces to meet the commanding officer and he says oh good morning welcome to the camp would you like a brew and you have to every time you move in the army you have to have a cup of tea which is great because i like tea they don't say would you like a coffee and they're defending the country they drink tea and another you... thing while we're on because i'm going to keep going Nations that drink tea are more inventive because tea makes you concentrate. Coffee gives you the jitters. That's why nobody in France came up with a steam engine because they had a coffee in the morning and then they were just like that all day. They couldn't sit there and draw a steam engine. They had like the DTs from coffee. No, it just perks you up and makes you more awake and then does actually focus your mind. Well, that, is, that makes you a junkie. Oh, no, it's just... It's weird, again, I just think this sums it up. Like, it's weird because it's so personal. Like, people get so angry about it and have, like, the world's strongest opinions about it. I mean, what are the chances that if you get offered tea by someone that they're going to make it to the right specification that you like your tea? It's just wet leaves with cow juice on it. Like, that is what a cup of tea is. It's horrible. Well, coffee is just beans with water on it and then some cow juice or goat juice. Goat juice? Yeah, we have goat's milk in our house because we're so trendy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, okay, please, please describe to me your ideal cup of tea. Like, what does a cup of tea in the James May household look like? Well, at the moment, I've been drinking black tea because um, Sarah, my other half, has put me on uh, a sort of, I don't know what it's called, actually. It's a, but it's a, it's a diet, not a slimming diet. It's a sort of be good to your bowels or stomach or something bowels in the medieval sense of everything that's inside you. So I drink it black at the moment, but gen normally my cup of tea, I'm only doing that for a week, normally my cup of tea would be made in a pot, because it tastes better in a pot, made with loose leaves, because it's a pain in the ass, but it does taste better. Um, and it would be probably something like an Assam or an Assam blend, so that it's nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. um, heat the pot, heat the cup as well, if it's a big one. Boiling water, obviously, which you don't use for coffee. Put the leaves in the pot, put the water in the pot, leave it for sort of three to four minutes, put some milk in the cup and pour the tea in through a strainer. That's how you make tea. I'd, I'd like to take issue with your 
suggestion that everywhere you go you're offered a cup of tea i think tea is becoming an endangered species certainly in london everywhere you go there's artisan coffee and craft coffee as if coffee is a skill i mean you just get a spoonful of the stuff out of the jar and put some water on it it's not a craft skill it's it's not even a culinary skill and everywhere oh. everywhere is talking about coffee and then coffee and we've grown it here and we've shade grown it there and we've sourced it ethically from there and we've got this type of coffee and that and a double mocha choco top and lock the top and then if you go and you say actually i'll have a cup of tea please they give you like a second hand tea bag in a plastic cup with some milk already in it and water at about 60 degrees and it's foul it's offensive exactly it is offensive it says about coffee and they say oh, oh I, I do like colombian coffee and they, they try to be so intellectual about it but if you sort of say well i actually quite like my tea made with boiling water they look at you as if you're very demanding or a diva i just want a proper cup of tea i can make coffee for people i've got two three coffee machines and a selection of coffees if people come around i mean ideally not because i'd have to admit that my friends drink coffee but if they come around and they say i'd like a coffee i can make a really nice one and I don't even know what a nice one is because I don't drink it, so I can't tell if it's nice, but they say it's nice. And that I know them well enough that they wouldn't be polite. If it was crap, they'd say, James, that is crap. But people who drink coffee can never make you a decent cup of tea. It's just selfish. Well, exactly, because everyone's so funny about how they like their tea. And it takes... What, it compared with coffee? So time, oh, it takes so much time to make. Like you just described, you have to wait for the kettle to boil, out the bag, wait for it to do its thing. Not a bag, leaves. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're a leaf, a leaf man. I apologise. Yes. Well, it is better, I'm afraid. Tea for tea, the leaves taste better than the bag. It's hot. Like, why do people drink hot tea when it's hot outside and it's Because it cools you down. No yeah. hot. And it ruins biscuits. It ruins biscuits. How does it? A biscuit dunked in leafy cow. Well, you don't have to dunk it. That's like saying tea ruins emulsion paint if you pour it into it. You don't have to. <laughs> so many people do it's tea really just, ruins sushi i find if i pour my cup of tea all over my sushi it totally ruins it, it makes the rice go all brown and then you're i mean okay not in your case because you're a tea leaf man but tea bags like if you're in an office they just get everywhere and they ruin sinks and they ruin lives and they're just awful i think coffee is just superior in every way i don't entirely trust people who drink coffee mm -hmm. if, if, if somebody says to me my builder, for example, is working on my house. I go over there to see him and he says, do you want a cup of tea? And I think, this man um, this man can build my house for me. If I went over there and they were all fart assing around with those little coffee capsules, I think I'm going to have to get someone else to do this. This house is going to be all wonky because they'll be you know, trying to put it together with their shakes and their tremors. Plus their attitude to life will be long. Tea gets things done. Coffee makes people hang around when i worked at the bbc the thing that used to annoy me was you'd go there so this is you know doing top gear and i did toy stories and things at the bbc you'd go to the bbc white city building and you'd have to go in the lift to go up because everything we did was on the second or third floors and the lift was always full of people who were simply getting a coffee they were either going to get one or they were coming back with one with those stupid little cardboard you know pajama things on it and the stupid splintery wooden stick that i hate and it was a whole it wasn't even a ritual it was it was it was a displacement activity i don't think they had anything to do they had some decision decisions to make and they didn't want to confront them so they thought you know what let's have a coffee as if having a coffee took things forwards and progressed things but it doesn't tea takes things forwards and you drink tea whilst you're making things out of wood or mending things or painting pictures or practicing the piano you stop and you have a cup of tea and then you do some more you don't do that with coffee you do co coffee you hang around outside cafes on silly little tables and talk balls with those idiotic little biscuits in the red rag rubbish coffee's rubbish kill it with fire you can put booze in coffee you put booze in tea that would be horrible but why do you want to put booze in coffee? Have booze. Booze and coffee is such a great combination. There's so many things that work with coffee. Do you mean like an Irish with... coffee that was very an fashionable Irish when coffee. I was when I was a boy? Irish coffee, an espresso martini, anything. I don't like martini. So uh, what do you put in Irish coffee? Irish whiskey, isn't it? Uh, Bailey's. Yeah. See Bailey's. I love Bailey's. Yeah. That was the official drink of of uh, Top Gear Live. <laughs> we used to drink buckets of it. It's fantastic. It makes you really ill in all sorts of ways. It gives you a hangover and it makes you vomit. But it's great. I feel I like a lot of things make you sick, James. No, actually, no, very few things do. We just happen to have mentioned some of them. Just ketchup and Baileys. <laughs> ketchup by itself will make you sick. I want you to try it. I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to wish ill on you, but please, you, I, I suspect you won't be able to get through the whole bottle. Okay. 
I might if, try if it. If you do, I'll be very impressed. I mean, you may be different because you are basically made of ketchup. We've got back onto ketchup here. We were supposed to be talking about tea and coffee, but as you are 30% of your substance is ketchup, you know, like people are <laughs> supposed to be 85% water, you're 30% ketchup, you may be able to tolerate it. And the rest is coffee and booze. I'm not squeamish about food. It, it's, it was just unpalatable on its own in a, in a large volume. Anyway, you're completely wrong about coffee. Sorry, that's twice you've been wrong now, Rachel. I mean, I just, I don't, th- I don't think this is a fair fight. Why? So I feel like you're just more angry about things. I'm not, I'm not angry about it. I just, I'm older than you and I've had longer to form an opinion. <laughs> oh, okay. Interestingly enough, since I started smoking my pipe, one thing I will concede is um, there's, a, there's an interesting shop up the road from me run by these two sort of slightly mad blokes um, and they sell, they sell tobacco and pen knives. It's a, it's a very strange shop, but... And they sell pipes, and you go in there to buy a pipe tobacco. Anyway, they have tobacco in jars, a bit like you know sweets in an old-fashioned sweet shop. And you can get lots of flavoured uh, tobacco. You can get like cherry flavoured, and you can get American cornucopia, which has some herbs and, and things in it. And you can get coffee flavoured pipe tobacco, and it's actually really nice. And actually, since I mention it, I like coffee flavoured ice cream. That but I wouldn't have one when I woke that. up. I think, hmm, I think I'll have an ice cream. <laughs> That's just preposterous. <laughs> Do you, do, do you think I'm just an old fart? You can be honest, it's okay, I'm only your employer. Um, no. That wasn't very convincing, Rachel. <laughs> Probably more convincing than my argument that coffee is better than tea for you. <laughs> is liking tea what old people do? I think yes. Because I think you're probably right. I, I'm thinking of all the young people I work with who are, you know, aged 21 to 30. I don't think I've ever seen any of them drink any tea. I'm just trying to think, yeah. going through them all in my head. Yeah, it's the only only office I've ever worked in where people don't regularly have tea, so, which is a good so. thing. It's the main reason I took the job. I'm just thinking of all the people, I'm no, mentioning no names, but of all the people I've worked with in the last five years on Grand Tour and so on, that's included a lot of young people, you know, 20, 21. The one who did like tea was a really posh bloke. A proper toff. And the toffs do like tea. I think the toffs and the plebs like tea. The middle classes like coffee because they're trying to be sophisticated. They're trying to drag themselves out of the gutter, but it won't work. <laughs> Bloody, it's awful. So, viewers of Food Tribe, why don't you comment and let us know who is right, me for tea or Rachel for coffee? The correct answer is me for tea. And since you're commenting, why don't you like and subscribe as well? Like, comment, Subscribe.